this haul fan but it's not and we'll get back to my channel so as promised is what i said i'm going to be doing a video of saint augustine of hippo who was the son of saint monica which is the previous video that i'm going to be doing or that i did so yeah so his feast day is august 28th he is a patient of brewers and he died in 430 or in the year 430 so yeah let's let's get on to what his life is all about Santa goes out of hippo is a patron of brewers because of the conversion from a former life of loose living, which included parties, entertainment, and worldly ambitions. His complete turnaround and conversion has been an inspiration to men who struggle with a particular device or habit they long to break. This famous son of St. Monica was born in Africa and spent many years of his life in wicked living and in false beliefs. Though he was one of the most intelligent men who ever lived and though ha had been brought up a Christian, his sense of impurity and his pride darkened his mind so much that he could not see or understand the divine truth anymore. The through the prayers of his holy mother and the marvelous preaching of St. Ambrose, Augustine finally became convinced that Christianity was the one true religion. Yet he did not become a Christian then, because he thought the, because he thought he could never live a pure life. One day, well, however, he heard about two men who had suddenly been converted on reading the life of St. Anthony, and he felt a terrible shame of himself. What are we doing? He cried to his friend Al Alipius. Unlearned people are taking heaven by force, while we, with all our knowledge, are so cowardly that we keep rolling around in the mud of our sins. Full of bitter sorrow, Augustine flung himself out into the garden and cried out to God. How long more, O Lord? Why does it not this hour put an end to my sins? Just then he heard a child singing, Take up and read. Thinking that God intended him to hear the old words, he picked up the book of the letters of St. Paul and read the first passage he gave on. It was just what Augustine needed, for in it, St. Paul says to put away all impurity and to live in imitation of Jesus. That did it. From then on, Augustine began a new life. He was baptized, became a saint, a bishop, a famous Catholic writer, founder of religious priest, and one of the greatest saints that ever lived. He became very devout and charitable too. On the wall of his room, he had the following sentence written in large letters. Here we do not speak of evil of anyone. St. Augustine overcame strong heresies, practiced great poverty, and supported the poor. Preach very often and pray with great fervor right up into his death. Too late how I loved you, he once cried to God. But with his holy life, he certainly made it for the sins he committed be before his conversion. He is 50... His feast day is August 28th. So yeah, that was the uh, feast or the life of St. Augustine of Hippo. And yeah, and his feast day is tomorrow actually. So yeah, what we can learn from St. Augustine of Hippo is that we can always convert to God even if we don't listen to him and we should always live a good life. And he's a good example, a really famous saint, just like his mother, St. Monica of Hippo. And yeah, and it's never too late to convert to God. And it is a, well, it's never too late to support God. And even though St. Augustine did not learn from his, well, he didn't learn like his sins until he heard the child saying, take up and read. And then he converted his life completely and he did, amazing amazing things that would like be really really great so yeah thank you so much for watching Tom and yeah make sure you to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you make sure you every single video whenever i post and yeah love you guys so much see you guys next time bye